Today we are going to look at one stream task scheduler. So last video, some of you might have seen um, MMM, how to automate it using a PowerShell. Uh, you supplied some parameters into a data management step and then you can use then the Windows task scheduler to schedule the task to run at certain times. So now one stream with the 6.2 release, they made it a bit more easier for you to schedule tasks. One stream comes with the task scheduler. So you don't have to write PowerShell scripts or you don't have to go to the task manager and then schedule it from there. You can do it all in one stream. So let's take a look at that one. So in order to access Task Scheduler, you need to go and log into your application. Then once you are in the application, you can go to application and then click on Task Scheduler. From there, it's going to show you a calendar view. You can also look at a grid view. And all you have to do is create a task. So I am going to create a task based on what we did last time using MMM. So I'm gonna say this is the sequence uh, that I am going to execute. And then I can look at the uh, different properties that we generated. So you can use the command line, uh, command line option to get this one. So all I did is I had this saved as a uh, PowerShell script and I'm going to make use of that one uh, to launch this uh, task. So I'm going to say in here, going to say this is my parameter. So you can add the parameters in here directly. So I'm just going to say, okay, that is an MMM load from SQL. Uh, this is the profile name that I'm going to use and just fill in the parameters. That's all uh, you need to do to run the task scheduler. So one thing that you have to keep in mind while filling up the parameters is if the parameter is going across multiple lines, you need to make them as a single line. So as you can see, my parameter here now ended with uh, alternate key because from there it is going to a separate line. So we need to make that as a single line for the uh, parameter to work. So I am going to say, these all are, so I'm going to do a find and replace and going to say remove that with a space and then everything becomes a single line. So I'm going to keep that in there and you can add it for a time. So it is now 826, so you could say that is today and this is going to be 8. And I'm gonna say this is 27 because it is 46. Okay, you know what? Let's do it as 8, 28. And so now we have, I'm gonna say this is account SQL MLM. So that's my task. I've saved that. So let's go into our dimension and then remove something so that we know that it did execute. So that's account and measures. I'm going to remove that. And uh, yeah, so then let's see whether this gets executed. And you can also do a grid view. So it will tell you which user scheduled it, what is the name of it, what is it running and all the stuff. That's the calendar view. You can also do a task for all the users. You can do that. And it gives you a day view if you want to, just like the calendar. Uh, you can do a month view. Uh, you can do a timeline view. So all these are there. Like if you look at it, that's exactly like how your calendar is going to work. So that is how you can use the um, Task scheduler. It's pretty easy, straightforward. Uh, 
all you need to do is just look at how you want to set it up and then run it. So now it should get executed. It's already 8.23. So we will see uh, a task showing up here that says it is now successful. So you can see that a data management schedule task is now running. And there we go, that is done. So let's look at our dimension now. Did it get executed? Yep, there we go. We have our net income coming in and that's getting scheduled and that is working now. We're gonna look at another one which uses a file name. So like I said earlier, when you are running a file-based uh, PowerShell script, that file needs to be on the server which is running the PowerShell. So in this case, it is going to be the OneStream application. So you will have to have that file in the OneStream application server so that this can get executed. So this is our file. We have uh, the uh, product getting updated with the time with a time and a scenario and we are updating the text one property so let's look at that guy so this is the one that we are trying to update so it is premium blend and uh, it has a default time that is a stored of premium um, now we have actual which is having a stored value in 2018 as blend so i'm going to remove that stored item and then say okay so it is now going to be premium and now let's run a new task for that one so we are going to say product fading file we're going to use that guy going to add the parameters again In this one we're gonna say this is going to be done at 34 schedule it so that has been scheduled now if we look at products and also look at MMM what we will see is if we go to the profile we can see those profiles so if you look at that there is no uh, product varying profile test load varying we don't have that profile in here so once this get executed we should have that profile in there so it said it is going to be executed at uh, 834 so that is our task scheduler it is going to be enabled and if you look at that it is 834 it says the background task completed successfully so that uploaded our um, product waiting member. So let's see whether this has a new item. It does have one extra item in there. And if you go and look at it now, it says 2018 is blend. Okay, so that's how task scheduler works. See, it's easy peasy. All you have to do is have a data management sequence, fill in the parameters in the task scheduler and then run it. So I find it easier to fill the parameters inside the task scheduler itself. So you don't have to create multiple sequences. You can just have one sequence and change the parameters when you schedule the task. So one sequence can be used for multiple operations. Like you see here, I just had one sequence which says execute MMM load. I created one for my waiting member property and then another one for updating the accounts metadata. So you could change it that way. So, it is as easy as that.